I'm getting a kitten. I cannot believe it. Like, actually, I'm so excited. It is Friday, October 6th. Tomorrow is my birthday. I have lots of family coming in today. Going out tonight, big celebrations all weekend, but by the end of the weekend, early next week, a kitten will be living here. And I'm so excited. If you guys are new to my channel, hi. I watched so many of these videos before, like all this past week or two. I adopted a kitten, uh, kitten essentials, what to buy, how to prep for your cat, like how to make sure your cat likes you, like how to not invade your cat's space. Like I have watched so many YouTube videos about getting a cat that it has just made me so excited. And so I hope this video, if you're watching for the same reason you're about to get a cat or a kitten, or you just wanna see what it's like, or you just follow on my channel and wanna watch and support me, um, thank you. I hope you enjoy this video. We're about to head to Target to get some other essentials. I've been on Amazon. I've already gotten a few things. I'll show you one little thing. And I've asked for some things for my birthday too for this cat. I have this little play scratcher thing, which I got off of Amazon, which actually I love. I love how neutral it is. This is a scratcher. This is a scratcher, obviously a toy and then a toy. This is a brush. So, so when he or she brushes up against, and you know how cats like to do, it'll brush him or her. I've grown up mainly with dogs. And so I never considered myself a cat person, but as you guys know, my previous roommate Skylar and friend, lived here and had two cats, both um, less than one year old. And I just fell in love with them. Absolutely thought they were the cuddliest, cutest things. And it totally turned me into someone who wants a cat. So because I'm living alone for foreseeable future till I find another roommate, I just thought this would be the perfect time to have a kit and get adjusted. Um, I thought about getting an older cat as well, but I just feel like since this is my first pet, I didn't want to, you know, get a 12 year old cat and then maybe only have a few years with him or her. Like I just wanted a pet that I can kind of grow up with. I, you know, just have me to take care of. So I have the time and energy to put into, um, raising a cat <laughs> and I just feel like it's the right time. I I have been looking at all my local adoption places every day, like multiple times a day. I definitely want to adopt and Monday I have an appointment at a rescue farm that's like an hour outside of Nashville that rescues all different types of animals and they have a litter of kittens um, up for adoption. So I'm gonna go check them out on Monday if I don't find a cat at the Humane Society. So thank you guys for your comments on my October reset about getting pet and insurance. I know they also say it's good to have two cats at a time, which I wouldn't be opposed to in the future. I feel like I should need to start with one. I'll be able to, to give a lot of my time to it. So that will be good. Like I can work from home as much as I need to, um, to play, make sure that it's stimulated and everything. I also didn't want to get two because I don't know who my future roommate is and they may be a little overwhelmed with two cats versus one, or they may have a cat or want to get a cat. And you know, we can't have more than two pets in this apartment. So I wanted to make sure that I was just getting one in case, you know, my future roommate, they have a pet or something. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Maybe in a few months I need to get him or her a friend. We'll see. But right now I'm like, I just, my first pet that's mine, I need to stick with one. <laughs> All right, let's go to Target and see what we buy. day October 9th 2023 don't mind my wet hair I'm running a little bit behind this morning it is almost 9 a.m. and we have to leave to drive an hour to go get my new best friend to go get my kitten I am so excited guys I can't believe the day is finally here my birthday was two days ago we've had such a busy weekend go 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 non-stop I barely had any time to even like <clears throat> prepare the cat things but I took an hour this morning to do that and of course, like we can do more once we get back, but 
we're going to a rescue farm outside of Nashville. Um, this litter was found with their mom next to a dumpster, I'm pretty sure. The person who found the kittens and the mom kept the mom, which is really sweet, and then brought the kittens to this rescue farm, um, which they have, I think they have horses, pigs, goats, donkeys, like they're just a really great cause, a nonprofit farm. So I'm excited to support them and also save these little kittens and adopt them, or adopt one at least. Um, so anyway, let's go get on the road and go get my kitten. Here we have the carrier that Skylar so graciously gave me because her two cats don't fit in here anymore. Washed it out, we added in some little toys in case, you know, they get bored <laughs> and some treats as well to just help the process. You know, if he's a little anxious or something on our long car ride back, hopefully that helps. And we'll also put in like his or her blankets, all of that smells like mom and siblings. So hopefully they're not too scared. Then once they get here, we're gonna keep them in the bathroom. I heard it's important to put them in small spaces first. So I'm first just gonna let them roam around the bathroom to not overwhelm them. We have the running little water fountain since I heard cats like running water separate from their food. Um, and then I have their litter box here. We're gonna see if this is too tall or not for them. Um, I also need to get a litter mat. That's something I forgot to order on Amazon, so that will be doing very soon. I may put a towel underneath the litter box for now, but this is from Amazon. <laughs> Welcome to the family. a lid it does have oh, one underneath I, but I couldn't tell if you're... you can go ahead and use it if he needs to I know we had a long car ride if you need to use it here's some water if you need it that little blanket somewhere for him. yeah I will I need to set up a little bed for him she before his comes it. in yeah oh, look oh. At you. I'm not camera shy I will get you some more wet food there huh Some more wet food, okay. Cool. Guys, he's right back here. I'm trying to smell the flowers. I do need to throw those flowers out. They're actually kind of old. It's time to meet. I don't have a name yet. Maybe by the time this video goes up, I'll have a name. I don't have one yet. Kittens in this litter were named different trees. So he was spruce, which I actually really like. Um, it was so hard to choose, guys. Oh my goodness. I had three of the siblings in there, two girls and one boy. He was the one boy. There's literally like no way to choose because they're all so sweet. They're all perfect, perfect little creatures. Um, I even don't even know how I choose. I kind of knew going in that I was like, okay, maybe I want the boy. I really loved his 
coloring and little markings and he did seem all of them seemed attached you know they all would play with me and come snuggle and stuff um but he just seemed so sweet and i said you know what i'm gonna take the boy so um i took spruce don't know a name yet we have a few going around ryman rocket there's been others, but I can't think of them. But I wanted to do a little haul of the things that I got for him and little kitten nesting, kitten prep. There's still some things that I need to buy and I'm sure I'll learn as I go, kind of what else I need, but here are the basics that I got. So as you saw this morning, I did get a litter box and I got a um, little scooper and litter from Amazon. I'm also gonna link everything below so you guys can shop as well. It's all either from Amazon, Home Goods, or Target. And for water, I got this from Home Goods. A lot of these were also gifts for my birthday, which was really sweet of my family to get. And I wanted, you know, just things for him. This is a water drinking fountain. Skylar's Cats had a fountain. I read that they do like drinking from like fresh moving water. And so this kind of repl replicates a little sink faucet. Um, and so he was scared of it at first, but as he started playing around with it, I think he figured it out. As for little play things and like bigger items. My mom got him this little tree that has all these fun balls. This like really flings up and is great. Um, this is also has a scratcher here. This was from Home Goods, a perfect fun little toy. I'm gonna like put these in different places, like maybe one in my room, one out here in the living room, or when I take him home to my parents. <laughs> Then he can um, have one there too. I got this one online. I absolutely loved the coloring of this. How it's just like very neutral beige. For them. This was very easy to put together as well. Took only a few minutes. He hasn't shown a ton of scratching yet. Um, he hasn't like tried to scratch different things, but when he does, I have these two little scratch pads um, that I can set up anywhere. So if I'm like, oh, he's scratching the side of this chair a lot, I can put the scratch pad there and he'll start to scratch this instead. Speaking of scratching, mom also picked up this little scratch bed, which I've heard some cats like, some cats don't. I think it's just nice to have something he can jump in and out of. And this is actually a Christmas themed one. Uh, this is from Home Goods. And this is again, just that scratching material, but more of a bed if he wants to like lay down and scratch. All right, what else did we get? As for another brush, I got this one from Target, you guys saw. Um, it's so cute, I love the blue color, and I love how it's self-cleaning, so you just brush them like this, obviously, and then when you want to get the hair out for the trash, you press the button and it will pop out, so super easy to clean. I wanted a way to wipe him down. I obviously know you don't give them baths, like cats clean themselves unless they really need a flea bath or something, but you know, accidents happen, he steps in his poop or something in the litter box or just has something on him I wanted to be able to wipe him down easily so I got these little grooming cats for grooming wipes for cats that are fragrance free from kindful just saw these at Target for a few dollars so I just love how he's just sitting there for this it's a, how perfect is that like he's just a YouTube cat already ready to go in my background then for toys and things he has a lot of toys that I found just from Skylar's cats that like left them here hidden then I got this little called a pixie treat dispenser and I already put it together it looks like a little chicken and you put treats in here and then you can set the difficulty level like if you want the treat to come out really easily or make it a little harder and they just like hit it and try to get the treat out so i wanted some toys that were really good for him to do while i'm at work or something so this is one where i can kind of leave it and he tries to get the treats out and then another one where i need to set it up and then i can just like leave him and he'll play with it God, he's falling asleep i literally can't guys <laughs> is this um senses play circuit this is so fun this is literally makes me feel like a mom but what's so fun is you can buy extensions for this and have different layouts literally like a little train track or something and so you know maybe for christmas i'll get him a little extension to the track and we can set it up and play with it that way i also want to get one of those like spinner ball things i need to go to home goods or something and get one of those because i know cats love playing with those by themselves I got one of these like ones on a tether, which people say are really good for like bonding with your cat, having playtime. This is a little mouse with a bell. He seemed a little afraid of it because this mouse is a little bit bigger. So maybe we'll wait a few more days before this one, but um, I have that ready to go. As for food, the rescuer also sent me home with a bag of dry food and two cans of the wet food that he's on and like told me how often, how much to feed him. I thought I would try to switch him to kindful 
for dry and wet. So I got two little wet cans to start. I just have heard good things about this brand and I know they're you know, healthy and actually not too expensive. Like each one was like $1.19, I think. And this is the kitten chicken recipe. So I'm gonna slowly wean him onto kind full food for now until I find something better or do some more research, whatever. That's what I got all for now, besides obviously the litter box and then the cat tree my brother got me for my birthday. That's from Home Goods. It was originally $80 and we got it for $60, so that's great. I don't think he can make it to the top quite yet, but he's getting there. And now I gotta be quiet because he's taking a nap. It's almost 7 p.m. Oh my God, guys. I am not okay. I think he's doing really amazing. He actually likes this bed a lot more than I thought. Um, so I may have to get him one that's also not Christmas themed, but I have his little blanket in there from his home, his previous home, I should say. He loves this chair. He loves the couch. I've been climbing up on it. I'm watching The Golden Bachelor. I'm a little behind, but. Our first night together is going super well. He's napped, he ate a half can of wet food and then I'm just leaving dry food out for him to nibble on. That's what um, the rescue shelter said to do. And water's in the bathroom. I'm keeping it all in the bathroom just for now so it's like all there if he needs it. He knows like if he's thirsty, if he's hungry, if he used to go to the restroom, it's all in that one spot. And then I'm gonna find a better place for everything tomorrow once he like knows his way around a bit more. And we'll see how tonight goes, like how, where he's gonna sleep, where he wants to sleep, we'll figure all that out. He hasn't been on my bed yet, but obviously he can sleep wherever he wants to. And He's just doing so good. He loves these little mice that were left from Skylar's cat goose. Cat goose loved these. And so I found some hidden that they left behind and he's really been liking these. He hasn't really like played around with towers and things that I got him. He hasn't been scratching a ton. So maybe that'll come later, but he just likes to go under the coffee table. Oh, he's over there now. Here. Oh, good jump. And he napped here for a while while I worked just being such a good boy. So, you know, we this has been the dilemma all day. That's what we've been doing, just trying names out. Oh, those are his first biscuits. I got it on camera. This is the first time he's made biscuits today here. This was Sissy's favorite blanket to make biscuits on too. So it must be a good biscuit making blanket. I think that's a good sign, guys. Oh my gosh, I got it on camera. It's like baby's first steps. This is too much, too much, guys. <laughs> you can just hear him purring. He's been purring all day. All right, all right, I'll get the camera out of your face. <laughs> guys, he's watching Aristocats. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a little brushing. He's being so good. I'm all right, honey. Don't worry. I'll see you down the street. Oh, 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 good morning. Good morning, bud. And he's gone. Yesterday he was really scared of his reflection, but he seems better with it today. He's got the hang of the water fountain, so that is definitely good. And I think he really likes it. He likes kind of playing it too. He'll dip his paw in. It hits his ear. You like your water fountain? Oh my gosh. It's time for some breakfast. I'm gonna give him some more dry food. Um, he didn't eat it all during the night. So he probably is a little hungry. At least I don't think he got up and ate. And then I'll give him his little bit of wet food a little later in the morning. Don't mind my appearance. We're just in cat mom mode. <laughs> Um, sorry, the construction's really loud near my apartment right now too, but Spruce, Miko, we're trying out Miko today as a name. Um, someone actually responded to my Instagram with that name. They're like, what about Miko? And I was like, I actually had thought about that before I even got him because it's a really cute name. It's the raccoon in the Pocahontas Disney movie. 
and I know that movie is problematic in its own ways, but the raccoon is very cute and it means, I think, little mischief. We're gonna try Miko today, but I just made him in a vet appointment um, this morning in Nashville. I kind of researched some different vets last night and we made an appointment because next week his next vaccines are due, his little kitten boosters. So we have to get those done. But anyway, right now I started filming because I want to try out this little chicken toy. He's kind of been antsy, I think, just looking around and I want to give him something new to play with. So I'm going to put one like kitten treat in there and then just some of his dry food um, and see how he does. Okay, so we open it up from the top here. Get naked kitten health. <gasps> the vase is down. That's okay, nothing broke. It's okay, all right. Okay, so we're gonna put one of these little guys. He's only allowed two a day, and I even then probably give him like more like one a day or a half. It's a little soft chew. And then I'm just gonna put some of his dry food treats in here as well. Oh, that came out way too easy. Okay, we gotta make it a little harder since they're small. We'll see about this. Let's see how he likes it. I got you something here. Oh. Yeah, you smell the treat in there? Let's see how he does. I'm making my breakfast too. He likes the camera more. Yeah. Oh, look, look what came out. Is that fun? <laughs> it's almost noon. I've just been working from home. I did go out for like a 30 minute walk and he did so well. I came back, he seemed fine. Wasn't crying at the door. He was like under my bed playing. And so that makes me feel better about leaving him for a few hours as I go to the office and ship some orders. Before I do that though, I wanna set up this toy for him because, um, so yeah, he has a little something to keep him company while I'm gone and then some of my friends are coming over tonight um just a few so that will be like good to get him socialized and wear him out a bit before bed oh yeah look how fun that is okay I need to look up how to build this his little track So cute i'm excited to open it up and i think he's gonna love it too it's so cute oh okay it's way bigger than i was expecting holy cow but i got this little ceramic bowl it's supposed to help with like his neck like he doesn't have to bend all the way down his whisker fatigue and it's actually really nice so i think i'm gonna put dry food in here hi sir and then put wet food um on a little plate so let's find a spot for this and see if he can even reach it. I think I wanna put his food and water over here or at least his water. Oh wait, you can reach it. Okay, I'm gonna wash it and put, try putting some food in there for him. We sprinkle in some of his dry food. He doesn't like this as much, but he still needs it. <laughs> Maybe give it a little crunch. Oh, 
All right, I am getting ready for bed, but I thought it'd be the perfect time to do a little recap of the past few days with my baby. He just discovered my shower today because I took a shower. So he's in there playing around right now. Here he comes. And he can't, can you get out? I'm gonna wait and see if he can get out. If not, obviously I'll help him out. Can you get out, bud? Need help? Okay. So, wow. Okay, so it's been two days now. I wanted to like have another night's sleep with him. He sleeps right next to me, like right by my head. I make a little spot for him in the blankets and pillows and literally it's like right up against me. The past two nights he's only gotten me up once, probably like around 3 a.m. to want to play. And basically what I do is I really don't wanna play with him in the bed because then he'll constantly think that's a play spot. So I just put him on the ground where he has tons of toys. He can go wherever he pleases in the apartment. I don't know if he leaves my bedroom though. He think I think he's a little scared to leave my bedroom right now. This morning he was playful a little bit. I still wanted to sleep. So again, I just put him on the ground and he was fine. He is a meower. He does meow a lot, um, which I'm fine with. You know, I don't mind him talking to me. He's becoming needy. So I'm glad that I've left um, a little bit here and there throughout the days. And like tonight, I was gone for about two hours um, around dinner time. So I feel like that's good because I think if I'm home 24 seven, he's gonna become really needy. Like even today I was working and he just kept meowing at me and I'm like, what do you want? And he, once I picked him up, he was fine. It's like a baby, like he just wanted to be held. Um, he doesn't like me being distracted, which is hard working from home, but like I wanna stay home with him. But you hear him? Just show him, show him things. But I think also like me holding him a bunch as a kitten and my friends came over last night and played with him a little bit while we watched TV. And he was so good, he cuddled with them, slept. I'm not gonna put you on the counter. He did great with them as well, was definitely worn out by them, which is great. He got like right in bed last night while I was washing my face and stuff. He wanted me to go to bed so quickly. He was sitting in here meowing at me. And then as soon as I went into the bedroom, he like jumped into bed and went to sleep. He's like, it is bedtime. You need to come to bed with me. So he has just been so perfect. Like I just get so nervous leaving him alone during the day, but I know I will get over that but he has just been actually so good, knock on wood, <laughs> that um, like I didn't know what to expect, but he's exceeded my expectations and he's just my little buddy. He's, I call him Bud sometimes, but I think I may stick with the name Spruce. I feel like that's just what's sticking. I was did not have any plan to keep the name that his foster home and adoption center gave him, but I don't know, he, it just fits him so well. You're, yeah, he's so chill, he's so calm, but then also very playful. Like today I played with him probably every two hours. I would get on the floor, like grab his toys, play with him for at least 15 to 30 minutes. So making sure he's getting a lot of play time. So yeah, that is my little update of getting a kitten. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey, for joining me on this vlog. It's been a crazy few days. Like this week has flown by. I feel like I've gotten nothing done, but thank you so much for watching and coming along on this very special trip with me. I know I'm gonna remember this week forever, so I'm just trying to soak it in, you know? Just really, all the links to all the products and even my pet insurance that I got, I'll link in the description box for you guys. So it's all there, resources. We love some resources and products. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.